Howdy folks, and welcome to another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Today, I'm going to be revisiting a brew that I first reviewed back in 2011. It's none other than the King of Beers, Budweiser. Now, uh, what's different this time around, you may ask? Well, this time around, it's in a can, a 500 mil can, as a matter of fact. And uh, this one ain't even made in the United States of America. It's uh, brewed and canned uh, in the United Kingdom by AB InBev, and it's only 4.8% alcohol by volume. So I wonder um, if it's going to taste any different now. So uh, anyway, well, uh, it's been a good four years, so uh, I might as well grab this pint glass here and uh, pour it out, see what it's like. Nice crack there, little smoke. Okay, I'll give it a good generous pour. Okay. Well, all right. So uh, as for the appearance, well, uh, it's quite effervescent. There's a lot of bubbles streaming to the top there. Yeah, it's uh, very clear. And uh, I guess you could call it like a straw yellow color uh, and uh, yeah a little over a uh, little over two fingers of uh, fluffy yeah tightly packed uh, bubbles of uh, yeah bright white head there yeah let me just top this up I'll get the remainder of the can out all right so uh, we talked about the appearance so uh, could only mean it's time to uh, yeah, have a sniff of this. See what the aroma is like. Okay, well, uh, it's quite a subtle aroma. I'm picking up, um, yeah, probably just a very faint smell of sweet, uh, sweet malts there. But anyway, it's uh, quite enticing. Uh, this is my first beer of the day, so um, yeah. Well, uh, could only mean, folks, that. Uh, Seeing I talked about the uh, appearance and I talked about the aroma, that it's uh, time for the taste test. So, uh, cheers to y'all. Let's dive in. Well, all right. It's a very sweet, very smooth. Uh, the bitterness is quite minimal. But it's all very well rounded, you know. The the taste balances out nicely, uh, you know. That that barley malt and uh, rice, you know, sweetness and uh, you know that uh, hot bitterness. Yeah, it's a perfect balance. I mean, it's just a crisp, clean, refreshing lager, you know, to uh, guzzle down on a hot summer's day, like this one we're having right here in Australia now. It's nearly like. 35 degrees okay so uh, yeah I must have another gulp okay it's really going down smooth yeah it's got your nice body to it you're somewhere between light and medium uh, yeah you can definitely tell that uh, it's got that, uh, you know, distinctive Budweiser taste about it. You know, I mean, uh, what well, really does set it apart from uh, a lot of the other mass-produced uh, American lagers is uh, that beechwood aging. You know, definitely picking that up. I mean, that's the one thing I really like about Budweiser. I know that it's really trendy to hate on it, but um, I really like this brew. It's got, you know, a nice, you know, unique sort of taste about it. Um, yeah, there's nothing offensive about it. Just a good beer that's got a high drinkability that, um, yeah, you can, you know, session. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, not too high as far as the ABV is concerned. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, definitely have a good session on this. Now, uh, as for the price point, well, it's a, 
it's pretty good even here in Australia. It's uh, on par with uh, a lot of the local brews and uh, a lot of the popular uh, international brews. But uh, I tell you what, um, I definitely do prefer it in the can. It's just uh, something about the flavor. It's uh, yeah, just a little, little bit better. Yeah, just a little bit better, and that does make the world a difference. All right, so. Uh, I think it's time I wrapped this up and uh, gave it a score out of 10 for 2015. Alright, well all in all it's a very solid, enjoyable lager. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah, it tastes good, you know. It's delicious, in fact. So, uh... Well, what I give it, well, it's not exactly mind-blowing, but it's very decent, so um, I'd be more than happy to give it an 8.25 out of 10 for 2015. So there you go, folks. 8.25 out of 10 for Budweiser. So um, check it out if you uh, haven't already. And be very surprised if you've uh, never had Budweiser. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for joining me once again uh, for another episode of uh, Swillin' Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Hopefully, I'll be back again soon for another uh, review. So, uh, until next time, folks, fare thee well, all.